New at six, it's getting closer. We're now just over two weeks away from hurricane season, and this year could be a busy one for our team of meteorologists. Philip Townsend sat down with Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandagis to break down the early outlook. June 1st marks the beginning of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. And as we get closer, the forecast is getting clearer. Educational institutions, private forecasting companies uh, and government agencies even do release outlooks. And many of those outlooks point to an active, even hyperactive season for the Atlantic. Why, right? Why could it possibly be a season that, you know, could be up there with 2020 when we ran out of names and went into the Greek alphabet. Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandages saying several factors give us an idea early on. The first is sea surface temperature or how warm the ocean is. And back in February and March, water temperatures in that area were in line with where they should be in July. Then there's the state of Enso, which is either El Nino or La Nina. Last year, we had a robust El Nino cycle. This year, a shift away from that. The forecasts are for a La Nina, which would be cooler than normal waters in the equatorial Pacific off of South America. That would lead to lower wind shear. They can grow and build pretty much unchecked. But this perfect recipe for a super active season doesn't necessarily mean we should expect the worst when it comes to landfall here on the coast. Steering patterns are another ingredient. So the big player in what steers storms towards the U.S. for landfall would be the strength of the Bermuda High or the Azores High, which is a big area of high pressure sitting in the central Atlantic. And the steering patterns become more relevant when a storm develops. So right now, there's no way to determine if that's a factor. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend.